Hi everyone, I'm Paul from JetBrains. I'm going to walk you through the first steps with WebStorm, a JavaScript IDE by JetBrains. Getting to know a new tool can be challenging. I'll try to make this easier for you. Let's start by downloading WebStorm. You can do it by going to jetbrains.com webstorm and clicking the download button like I just did. If you plan to work with several JetBrains IDEs or have a few versions of the same IDE side by side, you can install the Toolbox app, our free tool for managing multiple IDEs, first and then download WebStorm from there. Let's open the file we've just downloaded. The next steps will differ depending on the operating system you're on. For example, on Mac OS, you'd have to mount the disk image and drag the WebStorm app to the Applications folder. If you're on Windows or Linux, you can look up OS-specific instructions in our documentation. On the very first launch, you'll be asked to log into your JetBrains account or start a free 30-day evaluation. That's it. I'm on the welcome screen and I can start using WebStorm. From here, I can jump to our documentation and some other resources such as an interactive training course or the key map reference card. I can also install some additional plugins like custom themes and tweak some of the most commonly used settings. And finally, I can create my first project, which we'll cover in the next video.